Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead. I killed them. I should have saved them. I should have died. Her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in their inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Heavy dose of madness, I'd say, but honest is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped, eyes like pinwheels, drooled, and occasionally squeaked. Never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. In a huff as usual, oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery, I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it. It goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is, the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door, died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off, she denies it, makes no sense, it can't be, etc. Agreed. And from the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. And I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. How can she stem this growing corruption or assess my search? What does she know that I don't? She is someone you once knew and loved. Time changes us all. Not all change is good. Remember that when you find the Queen. Saved my life. I survived because she showed me how to escape. I didn't leave the lamp in the library, and Dinah didn't knock it over. The lamp and Dinah were upstairs when I went to bed. Dinah was in the room with me when the fire started. <laughs> 